Only brought to you. Hi, I'm Mike Whitney and welcome to Who Dares Wins, the show where we could dare you to do something you never thought you could, should or would do. Now tonight, we've got a dare in Outback Northern Territory. It's hot, it's dusty, it's fast and it's very, very dangerous. And windsurfing looks easy, doesn't it? But could you do it? Fully clothed? But first, this is food diet and guess what? I'm going to fill this bathtub and dare someone to sit in it in their undies for 60 seconds. And if they do, I'll give them $50. So let's go and change the colour of someone's day. Sure. What about your girlfriend? You can ask her. You can keep your head above the bath yeah, and your I hands. Think so she's good for that. <laughs> but you need to stay in your brazier. Is that the right word for it? Bra. <laughs> and uh, undies. No. Mandy, Kev, and Tammy. I'll do it. Whoa! Looks like I got a goer, and she don't even know what the dare is. Strip down. <laughs> <laughs> Strip down into your bra and undies, and dye yourself red in a bath that we've got around the corner. No Bruh. undies on. No undies? What's your name? Tanya. How are you going, Michael? How are you? We've got a dye bath around the corner. Yeah. Bra and panties. Yeah. You want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Now, Tanya's pretty sure of herself, but wait till she sees the crowd of shoppers waiting to see her get her gear off. Tanya's agreed to do our dye bath. She'll strip down to her underclothes. <laughs> Right, oh, no, a bit of encouragement, folks. Come on. And I'll tell you what, Tanya's going to need all the encouragement she can get. Can you imagine stripping down to your bra and jocks in front of a thousand people down at your local shopping centre? Mate, that's got to be wild. <laughs> oh, it's all off, and in she gets. Can you get a load of this? Tanya sent the dye all over the shop, and what's worse, she got it on her face and hair. Okay, this dye is going to dye a bright pink. She's literally going to look like a beetroot. Okay, so I said a minute. 30 seconds. Here go. And in 30 seconds, she's going to be dying. Oh, sorry about that. To get out of here. And get this, it's going to take three days for the dye to wear off. Can I have a towel, Bart, when I get out? Yeah, absolutely. We're going to towel for you. Don't give her the towel. Let her get out the same way she got in. <laughs> 10 seconds. Okay, Tan, I'll put the towel around you. <laughs> Gentlemen, let me say an enormous effort, Tan. Thank you. Well done, Tanya, and that red dye stain will only last a couple of days. Well, that's what we've been told anyway. Okay, now you may have seen road trains in Outback Australia. They are huge things over 45 metres long. So how would you go getting from the back of a road train to the front, climbing over all the trailers? while the thing is belting along at 80 k's an hour. Now that, I'm telling you, is really hair-raising stuff. And the person we're going to dare is 27-year-old Paola Roberti. Paola's from sunny Brizzy, and she's a manager for Coles Supermarkets. She's a real family girl and loves a good laugh. Her mum, Barbara, nominated her, now get this, because she wanted to get Paola back for driving her car into a washing machine. She didn't ruin it, but she did make a big dent. And then she tried to reverse, and she reversed into the garage door. That was her first car. Another reason is uh, she eat, sleep, and breathe coals. That's her life. That's work, yeah. yeah. Her, her days is uh, normally 12 to 14 hours. You really need us to put a bit of spark in all Yes, life. yes. Now, I want to get this right. Paola, <laughs> you really don't know what you're in for. Your mum has no malice. She just wants you to have a great time. We're going to come and grab you real soon. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor's just in the office here. We're at her work. She's just bundled into work. She's got no idea we're here. Let's go grab her. Let's put a bit of zip into her life. Now remember, Paola has absolutely no idea we are here. This is really going to put the wind up her. Paola. Oh! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you cannot run. Paula, Mike doing? Whitney from Who Dares Wins. Oh, How, you doing? You doing? How you doing? How you doing? Let me get over here. How are you? Oh, you got a bit of a surprise then. Oh, I think so. What are you doing to me? Why do you think I'm here? What are you going to make me do? You've been nominated to come on the show. Oh, my God. As long as it's not stripping, I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to come with me right now. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm going to take Paula with me. <laughs> That's going to be wild. <laughs> Tonight on Prime, see all your favourite Aussie shows and best love stars. MTV's funniest goofs and hits. 
Get the Julia Morris presents the hilarious all new more great Aussie bloopers tonight on Prime. The Series 2 Commodore is here, and there are now huge run out savings and factory bonuses on remaining stocks of brand new Series 1 Commodores, Australia's best selling car. For your chance to save on run-out deals on Series 1 Executive, Acclaim, Bolina and Calais models, see your Holden King dealer now, while stocks last. Who has the best deals on new and used cars? The Trading Post, Country Edition, Victoria's biggest motor vehicle marketplace. On sale tomorrow, The Trading Post, Country Edition, The Bargain Hunter's Bible. Apollo, Apollo. Venetian at vertical blinds. Apollo, 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 one, three, two, a double nine. Apollo must be mad. Any two quality blinds for one mad, mad low price. Verticals, Venetians, Hollands, plus 20% off awning cedar blinds and new chicane, plus nine months interest free term. One, three, two, a double nine. At the Captain's News once a year ensemble sale, chiropractor approved queen size Miller coil ensembles are waltzing out for just $799 and save $400 on queen size sleep maker Miller coil plus at the Captain's News once a year ensemble sale. At Ararat Mitsuri Service Centre, service is our middle name. With our specialist LPG conversion service on cars, trucks and four-wheel drives. Mechanical repairs and service in our VACC accredited workshop. Expert workmanship on bodywork and restoration. And of course our service station with fast and friendly driveway service, including our convenience store. At Ararat Mid City Service Centre, we care about our customers. After all, service is our middle name. A bloodbath in the ER. A kid walked into the ER with an assault weapon. Now a doctor must save a murderer. If I hiccup, he'll never wake up. No one would blame him. Did you kill this patient? Nominated for 15 Emmys. Don't miss Chicago Hope. Tonight on Prime. You're looking at an Australian icon. This is a road train, 45 metres long, the longest road vehicle in the world. So imagine climbing from one end of the road train to the other, up the back, over the top, and into the driver's cab while it's travelling at 80 k's an hour. That, believe it or not, is our dare for Paola Roberti. Britannia is now waiting to meet in the Northern Territory. Hi, Paola. G'day. <laughs> How are you? I, I think I'm fine. What the hell is this doing here? Uh, that's part of your day. How are the nerves today? Um, well, they were fine. <laughs> this is a road train. Yeah. Now, it's about as long as they come. Yeah. Your dare is to climb up the back of the road train, crawl along the top of the three separate trailers, up to the front of the cabin here, climb down, walk around the side of the truck, and climb in the passenger side door and sit next to me. Well, it's moving. Uh-huh. How does that strike you? Daring enough. <laughs> you bet it's daring, Paola. And the hardest and scariest bit is when you have to cross over the tow bars between the trailers. You'll be a metre above the road and travelling at 80 kilometres right. an hour. All right. No worries. Let's okay. do it. Paola, I <laughs> love your enthusiasm. But, mate, I don't reckon you'll be that keen once you're on top of the truck thundering down the road. OK, there's your carabiner. So if you fall, it's going to hold you like that. Now, within a couple of minutes of being kitted out, Paola starts to realise how dangerous this dare is really going to be. So before I go down the stairs, I hook, walk down, walk across, get up the stairs, unhook, then walk again. You got it, Paola. You're only on a safety line when you're crossing the tow bars. On top of the trailer, you're completely on your own. I'm going to call in your mum. Oh, what have I done? Exactly, what have you done? Do you want to tell your mum what you have to do? I have to climb this up here the three trailers and then get into the passenger side of the truck. That's oh, my day. While the truck's oh, going. You can do it. Okay, okay. Paola, your mum's you giving you the nod. It now it's all down to you having the guts okay, to go through with the, the dare. Side. Can I give her a kiss? Of course you can. Well, the architecture in some of these old Australian buildings is really fantastic. I mean, great craftsmanship, a lot that you don't see nowadays. And some of them, like this one, have a great dome up the top, which has a lot of stained glass put in there. Today, we're going to give someone the opportunity to have a closer look at that stained glass. We're going to dare them to climb this mountaineering ladder. Now, it's well over 30 metres to the top, and if they can climb all the way up there, I'll give them 200 bucks. We want to dare you to come on the show. Oh, no, I'm never. <laughs> no. 
Definitely not. You want to go? Never. <laughs> not a hope in hell, Mike. That way, eh? Don't like heights? No, not at all. Do anything on the ground, not on the air. Pass. Pitch fine pints. Just want to watch someone else do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today. See that ladder, that yeah. mountaineer's ladder? Well, that goes from the floor right up to the stained glass up the top. We just want you to climb it. And if you get up there, no problem, 200 bucks. I think my boss would let me do that, though. Do you want to go and ask? Well, the boss gave the OK, and I took a very nervous Margaret off to have a look at the ladder. What you got to climb? All the way. Yeah. <laughs> Our safety supervisor showed Margaret the best way to climb the ladder, which is only 20 centimetres wide. Climbing it's going to be real tough. Margie, do you want to accept the dare and, and give it a go? Yeah, I'll try. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Margaret's accepted the dare to have a go to try and climb up the mountaineering ladder here, well over 30 metres up into the atrium. We give her some support. What do you reckon? Hey, Margie. Hey. Well, the crowd's behind her cheering her on. And I'll tell you what, Margaret's going to need as much encouragement as she can get. The first few rungs will be easy, but as soon as she gets a few metres off the ground, she's going to start feeling the strain in her arms. The trick to climbing these ladders is to use your legs to push up. Margaret's on a safety line, but there's no way we're helping her. She's going to have to do it tough to complete the dare. How are you going? Oh, I'm getting back at <laughs> Oh, yeah? Where are you starting to get tired? Oh. Keep using your legs. Your legs. Now, any time Margaret wants, she can pull out of the dare and we'll just lower her to the ground. But she's got plenty of guts and is pushing on. Good on you, Margie. Oh, I'm getting tired. Okay, have a bit of a blow. Margaret's now reached the second level. That's 20 metres above the ground. She's really bushed. She's letting all her body weight fall back on her arms rather than pushing with her legs. Her arms and upper body must be killing her. How you going, OK? Yeah. Margaret pushes on. The top of the dome is only eight metres away and she's determined to take the $200 off me. And, mate, I reckon she deserves it. This is one real strenuous dare. Keep going, mate. Just another few runs and she's made it. What a girl. She made it. About a big round of applause, folks. Hey, Maggie! You don't have to stay up there any longer. Come on down. It took her 20 minutes to climb to the top, but only 20 seconds for us to lower her down. How are Maggie? your arms? <laughs> I put it this way, I don't have to go to the gym today. <laughs> 200 smackaroonies, and being a man of my word, Thank Margaret, you very much. congratulations. Thank you. Maggie, well done. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Thanks. You're a hero. After the break, windsurfing for beginners, and we catch up with Paula in the Northern Territory who's going for the ride of a life. Who's Ross's cute new flatmate? Uh, <laughs> what taboo does Rachel break? Oh, oh, no, no. Plus a scary bait. There you are. Coca Cola brings you the telecast of Friends Thursday on Prime. Uncle Toby's Incredibites are a wholesome bite-sized snack that's crunchy on the outside, but watch out for the incredible taste on the inside. It can be a big chop hazelnut flavor hit or a lip-smacking strawberry burst with a flavor as big as a vanilla Godzilla. The big taste of berries will drive you wild. Because as soon as you bite, your taste buds will scream out. Big taste! That incredibly big taste is a real knockout. New Uncle Toby's Incredibites with the big taste inside every bite. There's nothing like a day at the fair with the family to work up an appetite. And Chum Crunchy fits the bill nicely. Made from real meat, plus whole grain cereals, then oven roasted to seal in the goodness. It fully satisfies my lot and doesn't cost the air. <laughs> oh, it looks like I'll have enough stocks for a while. Chum Crunchy, a meaty crunch in every munch. The jeans that fit are now reduced by a big 20% off at Jeans West. His and her button fly, easy fit, straight leg or stretch. Drop from $55 down to only $44. That's a big 20% off. Jeans West, the jeans that fit. From the realms of football history comes a living footy legend. Woofer, Bob Davis, will be at Dimmick's Booksellers Central Square lunchtime Friday, September 6th to sign his recently released biography. So come into Central Square Friday 6th and meet Bob in person at Dimmick's Booksellers. At Peter Amor Motors, we've got something you'll love. It's new and very exciting. And on September the 19th, you can test drive one with Craig Lowndes, Australian touring car champion. We're ready. Are you? 
Buy now a no deposit with no interest for six months at Harvey Norman. Absolutely nothing to pay for six months. Buy a lounge suite, dining suite, sofa, bedding, bedroom, furniture, wall unit and much, much more. No deposit, no interest with nothing to pay for six months. Winner of three Academy Awards. The Piano premieres Sunday. Windsurfing. It looks easy, but if you've had a go, you'd know how tough it really is. Well, would you dare to give it a go in the heart of Sydney's Darling Harbour with hundreds of people watching? And get this, you've got to do it fully clothed. Do it wrong, you get wet. Do it right, Tanya will give you a hundred bucks. Oh, popcorn, <laughs> Maya. Mm, you certainly oh, can. Mm. Can you windsurf? I certainly can't. Would you like to have a go for one hundred dollars? Certainly wouldn't. Out here, no fully dressed. No way. Here on the walk -in? From here, all the way out around that boy and back again. I think no. $100 to come with me just over here and have a go at windsurfing. Fully dressed as you are, except we'll let you take your shoes off so they're not ruined. Okay. Yes? She said yes! Great. Tanya's finally got someone to give it a go. Now here's the problem. There's no wind blowing so it's going to be really difficult for our novice windsurfers to stand up, yet alone sail the thing across the harbour. And remember, they'll be wearing the clothes they're standing in. So I think a few people are going to be going home extremely wet. With the basic instructions, keep the sail upright and stay out of the water, we sent Kim out on a maiden voyage. I wouldn't say she's a natural, but she ain't in the drink yet. Uh-oh, I spoke too soon. Well, Kim's valiant endeavours encouraged a few others to have a go. But I tell you what, they weren't much better. And look at the concert. Bites the dust. Then along came Brian. The boy's that way, Brian. Now, Brian worked on the theory that so long as you stayed on the board, you'd eventually get round. You can't say he was going fast, but, mate, he was giving it his okay. best shot. And that's all we can ask. Yes, Brian. Brian, $100, it's all yours. Thank you for being so much fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> These are ice cubes, cold and wet. And today's dare is to get someone to put them up the front of their trousers or jeans and we just walk them up the legs here. Look out. And if you're good enough, pull them out of your waist. Now, if they can do that, I'll give them 50 bucks. From here to here, <laughs> any way you can. Right on, mate. Where you yeah. go. I want as much time as I want. Yeah. Ah, oh, down you go. All over Red Road. Can't over. drop them. Not too fresh. Too fresh. Just hang on a sec. Here we go. Straight out of nowhere. Two freshies. Man, I better undo my belt. Now, Michelle thinks she's got it sussed. After she loosens her belt ready for success, she takes up position. But it ain't as easy as it looks. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Now, Michelle, the only words I come over to ask you to do this is because you were laughing at that last one. <laughs> Big hole for that. You sure? Positive. The big night last night, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> What's Tim your name? Tim. Tim, the old ice cubes, mate, up the front of the jeans, out the waist. Want to go? Yep. Now, if they melt or you drop them, all over Red Rover. Right. Now, just when I thought we were going to be out of luck giving away the 50 bucks, Tim got the ice past his knees. It's a good start. And he wasn't going to stop there. It's a good bit of technique here. <laughs> Right, we want him out the waist. Oh, look out. Oh, no. He's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, this will be a humongous effort if you pull this out of there. <laughs> Nothing left. Got to get him out before they melt. Oh, don't drop them, whatever you do. Don't. Look. <coughs> There's one. There's two. Yeah. Oh. There they are. Should I be holding these? <laughs> Now, being a man of his word, good on you, Tim. There's your 50, mate. Round of applause for Tim, mate. Tim, mate, well, I hope your old frozen assets are going to recover after that. Meanwhile, we have had tens of thousands of people nominating their favourite Seven Network celebrity for a special edition of Who Dares Wins, and right at this very moment, we are putting together one heck of a show. We're going to be daring the Channel 7 celebrities that you've nominated to do some of the best dares that we've done during the last year of Who Dares Win. Two celebrities will be taking up a dare to win two lucky viewers a holiday. And if the celebs don't perform, guess who's got her to win the holiday? It's not Tanya, and it ain't me. You guessed it, the two lucky viewers. Up for grabs are two Harvey World holidays to Bali or Fiji, thanks to Escape Holidays and Harvey World Travel. We've also got four cash prizes of 500 bucks. 
Okay, that show is going to be an absolute right. We're keeping it dead secret which celebrities have been nominated. You'll find out in two weeks' time. Okay, now it's back to Paola Roberti up in the top end. We've flown Paola from Brisbane to Darwin and dared her to climb along the top of a... Our safety officer gives her the thumbs up and the road train starts to roll off. She's got to climb over the top of three trailers, getting to each by walking along the tow bars. She's geared up, she's scared, and she's about to go for the ride of a life. We're nearly at the top speed of 80 k's, and it's time for Paola to start climbing. It's very dusty and windy. Oh, boy. It moves a lot. She's having to use all her strength to hang on. I'll tell you, this is really going to be bumpy. Oh, God. Paola's made it to the top of the end trailer. The wind is so strong up there that she can only crawl along the planks that we've laid out for her. I can't see a thing. With the road train going at this speed, Paola's going to find it real tough. On top of the trailer, she's completely on her own with no safety line, and the planks are only 30 centimetres wide with a three metre drop below. She's having to hang on as the trailer bounces all over the place. Hey, Mum, what have you got me into? <laughs> Your mum can't help you now, Paola. Now, we've set this wild dare up on 20 kilometres of private road. It's dead straight, very dusty, and there's a lot of potholes. With the road train going at this speed, Paola's going to find it real tough. She's completely on her own, and she's having to hang onto the trailers as they bounce all over the place. Oh, boy. It moves a lot. Paola is approaching the first tow bar. This is where it gets really frightening. She's got to climb down, across, and then up onto the middle trailer. Do you reckon you'd give it a go? Tonight, the evidence has never been juicier. Just looked right at me and lied. The betrayal's never greater. Is this your specialty, sandbagging us on the stand? The mystery more intriguing. Richard Cross. Murder One, tonight on Prime. The National Mutual public share offer opens Monday. Over half a million policyholders have already applied for shares. Now all investors have an opportunity to share in the strength of National Mutual and invest in a group that's an established leader in life insurance, superannuation and investment products. National Mutual has expanded into the growing Asian markets and since its alliance with international insurance giant AXA, it is now part of one of the largest insurance groups in the world. You don't have to be a policyholder. Anyone can invest. Just ring this number and share in the strength of National Mutual. It's on this Thursday, Friday and Saturday. The ultimate scratch and dent sale. Hundreds of shops sold factory second and ex-display wood heaters must be sold. Plus no deposit, no interest, pay nothing till 1997. The ultimate scratch and dent sale, Mayor Street, Ballarat and Torquay Road, Grovedale. At Peter Amor Motors, we've got something you'll love. It's new and very exciting. And on September the 19th, you can test drive one with Craig Lowndes, Australian touring car champion. We're ready. Are you? Everything that feels good in life. Just add a touch of comfort. The comedy that gets better all the time. Draven, Police Squad. Leslie Nielsen, Priscilla Presley and O.J. Simpson. Whoa! Oh, Frank, everyone should have a friend like you. The original Naked Gun, after Full Frontal, Thursday on Prime. Paula. Oh. This was Paula Roberti at her work. Now she's on the edge, literally of a road train, and she's got to climb down and across the tow bar to reach the next trailer as it thunders along at 80 kilometres an hour. Look at this woman go. No hesitation, straight over the edge. Paula's hooked herself onto a safety line. If she falls or stumbles, it's the only thing that'll save her from falling between the wheels. 
got to be really careful here. The tow bar is greasy, sliding backwards and forwards, and the dust is making it hard to see. Incredible! Powell has crossed the first tow bar and she's already climbing the middle trailer. The road train's already travelled eight kilometres and is still hitting 80 k's. Powell is crawling over two very narrow planks. Remember, she has no safety line up here. One slip and the dare could turn really nasty. Halfway through the second trailer. She's battling on against the wind and the heat. It's tough going and she's starting to get tired. Very dusty and windy, but by God, I'm gonna do this. Paula, I gotta say at Who Dares Wins, we weren't sure if you'd accept the dare, but mate, you're proving that you've really got what it takes. The 27-year-old supermarket manager from Brisbane, Paula Roberti, is riding a road train the hard way. She's already made it across the end in the middle trailer. All she's got to do now is cross the tow bar to reach the front. It's hard for her to see where she's going with all that dust hitting Paula square in the face. She has to go by feel alone. She's made it onto the top of the front trailer. If she keeps her head down now and battles on, she'll soon be sitting in the safety of the driver's cab. Oh boy. Every bone in Paola's body is aching. Her face is sore from the dust and she's exhausted. All she's got to do now is climb down and into the driver's cab. My goodness me, you made it! Yes I did! It's a good feeling at the, the end, first, isn't it? The, the first trailer thought, I'm not going to do this, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. Oh boy, no, I had so much guts, so many, oh boy. Oh, how bad did you crawl along? I just, yeah, like a baby, I crawled like a baby. Paula, you proved that you've got real guts. Woo! <laughs> she did it! Mate, that was just incredible the way you made it from one end to the other. It was just amazing. <laughs> you're a real champ and your mum reckons you're a legend as well. You are glowing. You have got that look of achievement on your face. Congratulations. Paula, it's good you're the kind of girl who likes a challenge. Yes, I did it! <laughs> because Qantas will be flying you and a friend for a two-week action-packed adventure. Trek America and Adventure World will take you to the real wild USA. You'll be kept busy with whitewater rafting and hiking. You'll go and visit Yosemite, Las Vegas, San Francisco, LA, San Diego, and you'll even go south of the border to Mexico. And to make it even more exciting, we're throwing in a thousand bucks of spending money. This great adventure is thanks to our friends at Trek America, Adventure World, and Harvey World Travel, the travel professional. Paula, have yourself a terrific Harvey World holiday in the States and whatever you do, don't get any silly ideas about doing anything on those big American rigs. Now, if you know someone that would like to face up to one of our dares, all you have to do is write to us. At Who Dares Wins, Lockbag 7777 Crow's Nest, New South Wales 2065. Please remember though, don't tell them they've been nominated and you and they must be over 18. Next week, we'll dare someone to ride our Who Dares Wins balloon, standing on top. And the old bull in the china shop. It could be a smashing time. Well, you wouldn't miss that show for quids, and you wouldn't miss the Who Dares Wins team either. If you see us around anywhere, anytime in the next week, just remember, Who Dares Wins. It's comedy night tomorrow from 7.30 with friends Ellen and Full Frontal. But stay with us now as we present more great Aussie bloopers. Pull them out of your waist. <laughs> <laughs>